So Matt performed his song, uh, his hit song, Your Grace is Enough. And the interesting thing is that normally that's a real kind of rock and roll uh, kind of a song, and he did it with just his guitar and very, very softly. His message about Jesus' grace being enough, um, it's just, it, it really does say, it really does say it all. And Matt indicated that as a young man before he found Christ, he, you know, stepped out a bit and experimented with some things and was really, you know, really trying to figure out this whole, you know, where his place was in the world. And um, he also, you know, as even as a worship leader, um, was was trying to find that special someone in his life as well and uh, he dealt with some loneliness as, as well and some failed relationships and um, and some of his some of his songs he shared with us have been written in in moments of, of such of such pain and loneliness he said he came in from being on the road and uh, sat down at the kitchen table was all alone in the house that he was living in, nobody there, nobody to, you know, chat with or hug or say hello or wow, I missed you. And he sat down and he, as a single guy, wrote a song about being married. He said it took him all of five minutes. Like, what did he know about being married? But you know what? It is a beautiful song. And, and then he said, you know what? As I was sitting there, he said, um, it occurred to me that Jesus was saying, you know, Matt, I, I'm, I love you. I love you. He goes, and then he had a weird moment in the kitchen there, you know, because guys don't do that kind of thing. But um, really, when we think about the fact that Jesus loves us with just as much passion um, uh, that, a spouse, that, a, that, a, that a spouse would have, um, it really is, it can be overwhelming. Um, Matt is Catholic, which I'm not, and I'm learning more about Catholicism and what that looks like. But he was so funny because he said, "You know, we have this, uh, we have this thing in our church. It's uh, hatch, match, and dispatch." And we cracked up. Hatching meaning baptism, matching marriage, and dispatch funerals, and uh, we were cracking up. I've never heard that before. And so I thought that was really funny, but I guess when you're in the business of, you know, worship and church and all that, I think you get your own terminology. He also shared with us that in the industry, in the Christian music industry, they have this thing called JPM, and it's called uh, Jesus Per Minute. Like, how many times you mention Jesus Per Minute has some direct correlation on how successful your song might be. So... I just thought those two things were really, really very funny, and I thought it was it was neat of him to share those. But it's very clear to see that he has a great relationship with um, with the guys at Third Day um, and with Trevor, and it was great to see him up there jamming with these guys and and performing his own his own work as well. So uh, I saw Matt today. He. Um, he signed my Bible. His mom is here with him and his wife as well. The little one, not. But um, great guy and just really has such a heart for the Lord. And um, I just really, really enjoyed uh, being in, in the close environment that we've had and getting to know him as a person a little bit more. So if you haven't heard uh, Your Grace is Enough or Turn Around, I encourage you to look up Matt Marr, M-A-H-E-R, check him out.